The Aerojet General X-8 was an unguided, spin-stabilized sounding rocket designed to launch a 150 pounds payload to 200,000 feet the X-8 was a version of the prolific Aerobee rocket family. Towards the end of World War II, the U.S. Army and the California Institute of Technology's Jet Propulsion Laboratory had developed a meteorological sounding rocket, the WAC Corporal. The U.S. Army had also captured enough parts to assemble perhaps 100 German V-2 guided missiles. The Army determined that its Project Hermes would be extended to assemble and launch a number of the V-2s for military, technological and scientific purposes. Many of the V-2 components were damaged or useless. Thus the initial intent of the Army was to launch only 20 missiles, the Army was to make space available on the V-2s for upper atmosphere research. Due to the limited number of V-2s, originally planned design of several competing sounding rockets continued. Jet Propulsion Laboratory initially favored its WAC Corporal despite its inadequacy. The competing rockets were the Applied Physics Laboratory's Aerobe and the Naval Research Laboratory's Neptune Viking. The Army determined that it would refurbish and manufacture components as necessary to launch many more V 2s than originally intended, making most available for science. The Aerobee was developed in response to the need for a sounding rocket to replace the dwindling numbers of V 2s. Design and initial development of the Aerobee occurred between June 1946 and November 1947. The first Aerobees, the Navy RTV N 8A1 and Army Signal Corps XASR SC 1, used the Aerojet XASR 1 2600 lbf 12 kilonewtons thrust air pressurized engine. Aerojet's XASR-1 was developed from the 1,500 lbf 7 kilonewtons thrust WAC-1 engine of the WAC Corporal sounding rocket. The USAF RTV-A-1 X-8, Navy RTV-N-10 and Army XASR-SC-2s used the Aerojet XASR-2 2,600 lbf 12 kilonewtons thrust helium pressurized engine. In 1949 the Air Force instigated the development of a more powerful aerojet engine to replace the 2,600-pound thrust XASR-2. This was the 4,000 lbf 18 kilonewtons thrust helium pressurized AJ-10-25. The USAF X-8A RTV-A1A and USN RTV-N10A used the seminal Aerojet AJ-1025 Air Force or AJ-1024 Navy, the Army Air Force's Air Research and Development Command, needing its own research programs, initiated Project MX-1011 and ordered 33 AJ-1025 powered Aerobees as RTV-A1s. That designation was later changed to X-8. Ultimately the rocket was renamed again as Room 84. The number of X-8s flown came to 60 including 28 X-8s RTV-A1, 30 X-8s as RTV-M-A1A, 1 X-8B RTV-A1B with a 2,600 lbf 12 kilonewtons thrust XASR-2 chemically pressurized engine, and 1 X-8C RTV-A1C with a 4,000 lbf 18 kilonewtons thrust AJ-10-25's helium pressurized engine with no booster. The 3X8D with 4000 lbf 18 kilonewtons thrust AJ10-25 were never flown. A Navy experimental launch of a stretched aerobee, the RTVN10B resulted in both services requesting improved aerobees known generically as aerobee high. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operational history. At launch, an 18,000 lbf 80 kilonewtons thrust Aerojet 2.5 kilo Siemens 18,000 G solid rocket booster fired for 2.5 seconds. After booster jettison, a 2,600 lbf 12 kilonewtons thrust XASR-2 liquid fuel rocket burned for up to 40 seconds depending on desired apogee. The X-8 recovery sequence was normally started as the rocket descended through about 200,000 feet 60, meters feet when the fins were blown off to induce a drag-producing tumble. 
At about 20,000 feet meters, the nose cone was blown off the rocket and returned to Earth by parachute. The baseline X-8 measured 20.2 feet .2 meters in length and measured 5.25 feet .6 meters across the fins. A X-8A reached a maximum altitude of 138.4 miles .7 kilometers another reached a speed of Mach 6. The payloads of the X-8s varied, averaging about 150 pounds. There were 30 X-8s, 30 X-8s, 1 X-8B, 2 X-8Cs and 3 X-8Ds delivered to the Air Force. The first RTVA-1 X-8 flight was USAF-1, flown at Holloman Air Force Base, adjacent to the White Sands Proving Ground. USAF-1 was launched by an Air Force crew commanded by Major Philip Calhoun, the Aerobe Project Officer, on the 2nd of December 1949. USAF-1 reached an altitude of 59.7 miles .1 kilometers and carried three experiments, a solar radiation soft X-ray detector for the Air Force Cambridge Research Center, a pressure temperature study for Boston University, and a color Earth photography experiment for the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Equipment Laboratory. Rocket performance was good. Telemetry returned some data. The X-ray detector foils ruptured and returned no data. Parachute failure resulted in the nose cone containing the experiments to be lost. The nose cone was found in July 1950. The film was destroyed. The next four flights saw the nose cone recovery parachutes fail. USAF-6 was a more typical X-8 mission. It carried a payload of pressure temperature detectors for the University of Michigan, an Air Force Cambridge Center multipurpose beacon, six-channel PPMAM system, a 10-channel data recorder supplied by Tufts College, and a camera to photograph a Sperry Aspect Gyro for the University of Michigan. USAF-6 reached an altitude of 57.5 miles .5 kilometers before a flawless recovery, from December 1949 until the last X-8A flight on of December 1956, the X-8s flew a great variety of experiments. Typical payloads were solar radiation, temperature, pressure, photography, sky brightness, atmosphere composition, winds, airglow, rocket performance, biological experiments, air density, day airglow, ionosphere, sodium studies, nitric oxide to produce a sporadic E layer, nitric oxide attempt to recombine atomic oxygen, sodium cloud ionization, solar spectrum, and atmospheric composition. All but the last X-8 mission were flown from Holloman AFB. The last X-8 was flown for the Signal Corps Electronic Laboratory from Fort Churchill, Canada on the 11th of December 1956 and studied temperature and winds. After the X-8's Air Force aerobees were known by their engine model numbers, either AJ-1027 or AJ-1034. Topic Variants X eight thirty X eight A thirty X eight B one X eight C two X eight D three Topic Specifications General Data from the X planes, X 1 to X 45 general characteristics Crew, unmanned, Length, 20 feet 1. 5 inches, Wingspan, 5 feet 3 inches, Height, 15 inches, Wing area, 36 feet squared, Empty weight, 135 pounds, Useful load, 150 to 300 pounds. Loaded weight, 1,097 pounds performance Maximum speed, 3,490 knots 4,020 miles per hour Range, 18 plus nm 20 plus mi Service ceiling, 800,000 feet Armament None Topic. See also Related development Aerobee Aerobee High